Well, the reason that um, I'm going to have this body scan is that uh, it can show up thermally where I'm losing essential nutrients from my body. The, the, the sort of physical damage um, I'm doing to my body whilst excessively masturb masturbating. I'm shitting myself. Why? Because my body is so important to me. So yeah, I'm, I'm shitting myself. Dr. Liu has been treating patients using thermal imaging and herbal medicines for over 10 years. This one to the, the, for, for the man, menopause. My menopause. This, this one the, 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 for the, the, the sleep, sleep problem. Any sleep problem you use this one to go very good. But this is the first time he's ever treated someone with such an extreme masturbation addiction. What are your problem with the how long your problem? I masturbate daily between sort of five and eight times a day. And but on the weekends if I'm not going out or seeing anybody, I can it can be between ten and fifteen on in a day. And occasionally I get a, a terrible pain sort of in my groin area under underneath my balls where it's like a gripping pain and it and it, it can it comes so suddenly and I'm literally doubled up on, on the floor. Let's go to yeah, the other okay, one. Okay, and then the, 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 the thermal scan. Okay, thank you. Take, take over everything and put here. Yeah. Okay, stand over there. For the first time in his life, Russell undergoes a physical examination to uncover the damaging effects of his addiction. The damage, according to Dr. Liu's thermal scan, is far worse than Russell expected. Um, if um, Russell didn't quit the um, addiction or the habit, and then he will have the tooth A, loose tooth, back pain, a weak lease, exhaustion, depression, psychological disorder, impotence, erectile dysfunction. Masturbation is causing a whole, whole body the problem. Have I, have I gone too far with my masturbation habit to repair it? Mm -hmm. can, can I repair it? Can I repair the damage? If you take the herbal medicine for the six months to uh, for six months, yes. three and, uh, months, yeah, three months to six months, yes. and I, I think and all problems can fix. Oh, lovely! Oh, brilliant! That's a relief. That's a relief. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thank you. So, shall we go to the room? Yeah, love to. Yeah, thank you. While Dr. Liu mixes a herbal cocktail to help wean Russell from his addiction, Russell is left to absorb the hard-hitting results of the scan. Crikey, it's quite devastating, isn't it, what I've done to myself. The upside is that Dr. Liu thinks that um, he, he can sort me out with, with, with herbal, herbal medicine. That's a bit of a relief, um, but um, that is definitely enough to, to make me reduce my, my habit because that is really scary, that. Hey, that's the herbal medicine. Thank you. For the, the, the you. masturbation. You that's the, the special formula. The total is $300. Okay. It's 300 Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. $300 and a box of pills later. Russell hopes the herbs will have the desired effect. Even if, even if this is... This isn't, you know, medically the magic cure. If it gets my mindset correctly and balances my, 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 my thought process, then it's worked, isn't it? I'm going to try and finish the day off without having a wank. I think I can turn it off now. After what I've had experienced today, I really think I can. That night, we left Russell with just a camera for company. We were unsure how he would cope. This is this is bad times for me. Too much time to think. I, I get I go into a real sort of uh, uh, a real down on myself. Yeah, this is when it gets really hard. So so that's why I do it. It's the only way I can get out of this um, this sort of mood. And so I, I wait, and that um, that alleviates a lot of the pain, but only temporarily. But um, we'll have to see. So I'll go on.
Ja, für Lopez. Getting rid of his addiction isn't going to be easy. Back in England, Paul masturbates with his sex toys up to 12 times a day. His addiction prevents him from holding down a job or having a relationship. And it's now beginning to cause desperate mood swings. Paul is taking a different route than Russell to treat his addiction. He's agreed to travel to London for a course of psychotherapy. But even simple things like getting from A to B are a complete nightmare for him. It's now four hours since he last masturbated, and his frustration is starting to boil over. Fucking room. I can't find this fucking room. Get out of the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck is it? What? Oh my god, I'm here. It's not fucking work now. Oh god. Fucking hallelujah. long intensive therapy course with sex addiction specialist Christoph Edwards. For the first time, he'll have to reveal intimate details about his life to help overcome his addiction. The compulsion to masturbate, for a compulsive masturbator, is as powerful as the desire to use heroin for a heroin addict and, you know, can have parallel consequences on the sufferer's life. I think, it, I think it's very hard actually to see it in black and white terms of, of what he's got to deny himself and what he's got to give up. If he wants to get better, if he really wants to get better, this, this is what he's going to have to do. I hope I don't get too upset about anything because I, I, I don't want to. I just want it all to go smoothly. I don't think it's going to. Hi, you must Hi. be Paul. I'm Christoph. Hi, welcome. Come on in. Thank you. You made it. What, what do your toys consist of? What do they consist of? What, 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 um, what sort of toys have you got? It's mainly like um, just dildos and vibrators and things. Um, See, that's all I have. I don't have anything dodgy. I'm just, just the normal. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you look back at the sort of first, I don't know, seven years of, of childhood, how would, how would you sum it up? And they were pretty good. The first seven years were pretty good. It was just the years after that, really, that kind of went downhill. And then the bullying started from there. It just went on and for, well, ever since I was at school. And I what forms did it take, the bullying? Oh, they were saying everything. Everything a, a child could say. You know, you bent bastard, you shit stabber, you faggot fucker, and all this. Everything, everything that you could possibly think of that did say. And then it eventually it turned to a just like fist fighting, you know, the beating me up after school and things. And then that's when it eventually um, about a group of twelve just put, put me in hospital. I mean, I suppose I suppose I suppose one thing I'm struggling with is is that this wasn't noticed at home. Though. They didn't know what to do. They were they were lost, just like I was. So, 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 I mean, I mean, just going back a bit. So, so when did you discover masturbating as a, as a comfort? Well, it, it, first, it started making me feel really happy and just happy and normal for a while. So I'd go home and I'd, I'd, I'd have another wank or something, and I'd feel better again then. But when I realised it was a major comfort thing, was um, when it got to the point where I was taking my toys to work every single day. I feel quite scared in a way if I haven't got them with yeah. me, just in case there's, there's nothing I can um, just go back on to, so to speak. In your life, you know, it's your primary relationship. It's the most important relationship that you have. It's the, the only one I have. <laughs> would, you, would you say that? At the moment, yeah, it's the only one that I have, yeah. You've got to a place where you find that this so-called friend is leaving you, you know, perhaps feeling depressed, perhaps feeling hopeless feeling isolated and I think it'd be a very good idea if you 
wrote the addiction, you know, wrote your acting out, a farewell letter. Because you're saying, you know, you're saying goodbye to your best friend.